These braids is tight as hell. I don't need nothing else that's going to make my forehead look bigger. Welcome back to another video. Off the rip, you already see the shirt. Stop simping apparel is available. Go cop you something right now. I know. I know that you want to knock them ankles, no I know you do. But pressing the subject almost never works. It's actually a huge turn off for most women and it makes it seem like you only want one thing. And even if your little perverted horn ball ass only wants one thing, don't show all your cards right off the rip, fam. Today's video is about why sex should be the last thing on your mind when you actually are trying to get the yin. The first thing I'm gonna tell y'all is do not be thirsty. Do not come off as a thirsty ass Every time a piece of booty cheek walk past you ass dude. Once you start being pressed, that's like an instant turn off. If you sit back and look at the bulk of the dudes that like be getting the most girls or like the girls really like, most of those guys are confident guys that are not pressed or not thirsty. Do not do the most. No woman out there wants a guy who tries to holler at every single girl. And we all know those dudes. Every time a girl that look good come around, hey beautiful, hey what's your name, can I get your number? You don't have to get 10, 15 numbers, but you don't even have that many life minutes to do nothing with all of them. They don't want no guy that's trying to talk to every single chick. They don't want no guy that's liking every single IG girl, Instagram pics, all in everybody DMs. Just relax and vibe on all of that. Nobody should have that much access to you. Once these girls figure out that you damn near and everybody DMs and you for everybody and your ass is for the streets, they're not going to be as attracted to you or even want you. I was at this little shindig, this little vibe one time. A lot of big names was in there. Everybody enjoying themselves, having a good time. The girl came up to me and pulled me aside. She was like, hey, like, what's going on with you? I'm like, I'm just chilling. Like, what's up with you? And then like, we just talked and chopped it up. She's like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm feeling you, and I kind of like how you're not, like, pressed and, like, all over the girls and all over everybody, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I just be laid back and just bobbing. I'm not really here for that. The next thing she hit me with was, what are you doing later? If you are at a function, at a party, at a club, at a dance or whatever, and somebody asks you what you doing later, it ain't nothing but one thing to do. One, two things to do later. You can go get something to eat. Or oh, you can be eating. It's like one or two things to do if somebody asks you what you doing later. And she wanted all the smoke. Number two, being low key. This is the best policy and not only in dating and talking to women. Nobody should be in your business or know all your business. Hold it down. There should be a level of discretion. Keep it on the hush. That's with your family. If y'all ain't never grow up in a household, what happens in the house stays in the house with your friends. Don't be telling all your friends' business, pillow talking. Don't be telling all your business. Keep it low key. Sometimes the less people know about you, the better. They become more intrigued, wanting to know more, wanting to get to know you more. You're, like, you're not just like an open book. They be like, damn, he's kind of mysterious. This intrigues me. Let me get a little closer to this. So you shouldn't be talking. Your homeboy shouldn't be talking. Hell, you might be talking to a girl and she slip up and telling her friends all the business. If she can get a warning, you need to chop it up with her and be like, yo, I'm not on that. I don't want everybody in our business. What happens between us stays between us. She might have a slip up. You might have to cut her off. I had an instance where I went like, it wasn't even like a date. We just went out for some drinks i hung out with this girl and like some time had passed and i posted a thirst trap and then she's like you always posting thirst traps and she had a man at that time so like i wasn't even worried about that so i told her since she was talking about the thirst trap i said why don't you take one of my thirst traps and post it in your group chat with all your homegirls and see what they think about the thirst traps and she was like well they're not gonna think nothing because they know we used to talk I'm like, what you talking about? They know we used to talk. She's like, they know we used to talk. I'm like, bro, we didn't talk, bro. We went out for drinks one time. We ain't never even do nothing like that. And her response from that was, well, these are my friends. And if, if they still talk to you after that, then they wouldn't be my real friends. And this made me think like, damn, I spoke to this girl like in public in passing before. And I was wondering why all her friends just was looking at me. They bit, then damn near tried to claim me. And we would never ever even have been together. So immediately I blocked their ass on everything. Instagram, Snapchat. I'm like, damn, bro, these women really be out here clout chasing. Like, oh yeah, I hung out with him. Don't nobody talk to him because we went on a date. whoop de do, bro. Girl code. Get the hell out of here. I got some girl code for your ass. Block. Since you ain't got no discretion, you talking to everybody your business. And probably lied and, and, and hyped this shit up. It wasn't nothing but a couple little Friday drinks. Two for one. So yeah, try to keep your business in house. Most women won't even want to deal with you if they know you like the school hoe or been around the city or knocked everybody down or, or trying to get at everybody unless you have some kind of clout or money. Women to get mad that guys ask what they body count and then women to be like, oh, well, what's your body count? Cause I don't want no man that's been with everybody, which is basically they just doing that shit cause men care about the shit. So because 
When I went down to South Beach and I did them public interviews and I asked women what do they want guys to bring to the table or what type of guy they like, a low body count in the guy wasn't even top three. They just saying that shit because we saying that shit, bro. It was money, finances, cars, a good job, benefits, great sex. That, that, that was their mindset. Nobody said out loud, oh, I want a guy that hasn't been with a lot of women. Nobody said that. So yeah, ain't no girl gonna want you if you didn't been through the whole city unless you have money and clout. Like, Drake can rap about, I've been around, I'm a lesbian too, bring a friend, y'all know I'm with all the girls in the city, and they'll still be like, oh my god, Drake, ah! That's because of the money in the cloud, bro. It doesn't matter. He can do whatever he want, bitch. But that also shows you mentally where some of these people here be at. Number three, let's talk about built up excitement. A lot of times y'all be so, sometimes you get with somebody or get a date with somebody or hanging out with somebody that's damn near out of your league, but you trying to play it cool. So now you over the top hype, trying to do everything, trying to make sure you wash behind your ears. You ain't wash behind your ears in four years. Now you flossing and shit. You overly excited, overly hyped, which sometimes causes nervousness. And we all know pressure busts pipes, so most of y'all ass gonna have a poor performance because you are too hype and too excited. You over there trying to figure out why you getting that little tingly feeling and it ain't even really even get started yet. You too hype from the jump, fam. You're too hype, relax yourself. Remember, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. You ain't gotta be in there like jackrabbits off the rip. An excellent way, a fantastic way to make sure you are strong enough is Blue Chew. Wow, y'all see it right there. Hit up BlueChew.com. They can really help you change your sex life. Always be ready whether it's planned or it's spur of the moment. Hey, Blue Chew got you covered. Now I get ankles loose, made easy. And it's chewable, so you can just chew it and do it. I got them things spread out like I'm playing spades. Hey, subscribe online, BlueChew.com. They deliver it right to you. It's easy peasy. It's like a cheat code, for real. I ain't gonna cap. It's like a cheat code, to be honest. I ain't gonna lie to you. Who doesn't want to have an increased chance of having a longer lasting erection? Get a free month with my promo code TPendel. First link in the description. Go check them out. Make her wonder. If you are not trying to get it from her, like just dead ass not trying, she is going to mentally think like, damn, He's not getting it from me. He gotta be getting it from somewhere. What the hell is going on? And I'm not saying to manipulate or make her second guess herself. You ain't gotta do none of that. Still give them compliments. Still make her feel beautiful. Still make her feel like a woman. Still be affectionate when the mood is right. But do not try to go the distance. It will turn her into this, and she might even express this verbally. She will go from, yeah, you give me all these compliments, you make me feel good. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Why you not doing everything? What's, is something wrong with me? You not trying? Like, why you not trying to go all the way? What's up with the home run and the holding one? And a lot of y'all gonna be thinking like, okay, once she hit you with that, it gotta be go time, right, T? It, it, it's, it's time to go. When that happens, just hit her with that, hey, you ain't even ready for all that, and just leave it at that. The next time she sees you, but she probably gonna tell her little funky ass friend cause she ain't got no discretion. She probably thinking about it all night. The next time she sees you, I hope you are ready because she about to try to rip all of your clothes off. You might not even have your socks on, bitch. Stimulate her mind, Craig. Stimulate her mind, getting to know her, finding out things she's interested in, sharing things that you are interested in, talking about places y'all travel, y'all go. Do something different from the generic movie or dinner date. And before y'all come in here with that, oh, that's this is too much, this is simp behavior, I'm not talking about like no regular sneaky link of somebody you trying to jump off with. This is this is not that caliber or type of video, but this is somebody you actually like and she like you. If you just trying to go to pound town and knock ankles loose, this ain't the video. Shit, she might even be a demisexual. And that's when you experience a sexual attraction when there is an emotional connection involved. So if there's no emotional connection, she probably already been through that and don't want that no more. She gonna be like, ah, I'm good. And ain't no no way no emotional attraction gonna happen if you keep trying to grab her yams every five seconds, bruh. Last but not least, bettering you. You need to ultimately always be focused on bettering yourself. A better you is more attractive anyway. Goals, finances, your health, that should take priority over everything. Once you get yourself together, get your things together, watch how everything just falls into your lap. Literally. And a lady knows when you're a great catch. You think guys that are great catches that know they got it going on are thirsty? No, they don't. Half the time, guys, they, got it, they don't even need to make the first move. Have yourself together, be on top of your stuff, and stay productively busy. That alone right there will have her ready to jump your bones because she knows that you are not just easily available. Appreciate y'all for watching another video. If I missed anything, leave it in the comment section. Good luck out there. Stop simping the pearl. Link in the description. The Real Talk Pill Talk podcast is out right now. Just drop F4. Make sure y'all go check that out. That's in the description. You can get the visuals on the main channel or you can stream it anywhere. Just put in Real Talk Pill Talk podcast and get that thing a five star. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. I'm out. I'm about to go make me another apple juice. This is the only time you should be thirsty, bitch. This is, this is the only time. I'm out of here.